It's a zany action, a crazy contraption. The fun is catching its mousetrap. Alright, well we have Mousetrap. Uh, I haven't actually played this game since I bought it a couple of weeks ago at a garage sale. And I haven't really played Mousetrap since I was a kid. And by playing Mousetrap, I mean I just used to set it up and watch the, the giant Rube Goldberg puzzle go. Let's take a look at this. Mousetrap. I hope that I actually have all the pieces. Building plant. Look at this building plant. It's actually like giant and crazy. Oh, wait a second. Whoa. This is gonna suck. I'm gonna build it for you guys too, but uh, chances are I'm probably gonna fast forward through the building. All right, well, we've got all these pieces, the board. It looks like it's got everything. <laughs> it's even got the rubber band that it comes with. I, hope this thing, I wonder if this thing still works. It's still elastic -y. Anyways. God, I love Mousetrap when I was a kid. I don't think I've actually ever built Mousetrap myself. When I used to play, I used to play with my brother when I was younger. And he used to build it. Alright. Well, I know this is where it ends, so this must be where it starts. Let's take a look at some of these pieces that I'm gonna send. We have the cheese, which I guess is used for the actual game, but we'll get to that later. The diver. Mm, look at the diver. Looks like a reject army man. Well, there's so many weird pieces here. It's like, it's like an amalgamation of Duff, I don't know. Kind of annoying. Um, anyways, I'm gonna assemble this now. And, uh, wish me luck. Alright, assembling time. Alright, here we have Mousetrap. Such an overly complex device to perform yet such a simple task. And I look forward to unleashing this madness onto you. Now, I haven't I haven't actually successfully tried this yet. I haven't tried, I just set it up and moved the camera back so you could all see. Now, I know you guys don't want to talk about the board game. The board game is really simple, it's very basic. You, you go around the board and you collect cheese or something. I don't even know what the board game is about. All I care about is this giant Rube Goldberg device. And what a Rube Goldberg device is, it's an overly complex machine or steps of something to perform a very simple task. And that's what this is. All you're trying to do is catch the mouse. But once again, you don't care about that. All you care about is letting this thing go. So I'm going to turn the crank, which is going to pull the stop sign back, and then move forward, kick the boot, which is going to hit this bucket, releasing a marble down these rickety stairs onto this gutter. It's going to hit this rod, which has a hand, which will push the marble up here, over and down through the bathtub, which will then drop the marble onto this bath or onto this seesaw or teeter totter or whatever you want to call it, launching this diver into this watery or lack thereof, just like a pool, an empty pool, which will shake this apparatus, making the snap fall, and catch this mouse. Are you ready? Um yes, let's do it. It's a zany action, a crazy contraption, the fun is catching its mousetrap. Yeah! <laughs> Man, that is just as cool as I remember when I was a child. I want to do that again. Let's watch it again in slow-mo. Now this may get blurry, I'm using it as a handheld cam now, but I really wanted to show you the awesomeness of when it's like, like close up. Sorry, I'll try to be as smooth as I can. Oh 
Oh, that's just as cool. And that was uh, Mouse Trap to conclude my second episode. I'm not gonna lie, just seeing that trap go off made me feel just as giddy now as it did when I was a kid. It totally makes me feel like a child again, and that's why I do these videos. But actually leads me to my question for today. What was your favorite board game growing up, or what's your most nostalgic board game today? Leave a comment below. You should also leave a comment. I still don't have a name for this. I've gotten quite a few, uh, you know, submissions for name ideas, but I'd still like to keep going and see what you guys like. So if you can think of that as well, also leave a comment below. And uh, that's it for me. Have a good one, guys.